Guys, today we're going to be talking about the squat, how the proper setup should look, what some common problems are when we get to the bottom of the squat, and how we might be able to correct those. So starting out with the squat, in an ideal world we've got our toes facing straight ahead, we have our knees going directly over, to, over our toes. However, because we're all made differently with our femurs, some of our hips are wider, some of them are longer, it's going to alter uh, the, the position. I would just tell you to get into a comfortable position. However, there is a test here that you can do to see if you've got an overly tight calf muscle um, in your legs. And so the way we would do this uh, is on a slicker floor with no shoes on, your feet are going to turn outward. You'll see here in this video right here. So once they get towards the bottom, the feet turn out. That's a sign that the calf muscle is actually way too tight. Um, and so that's something to continue to work on. but in, but really, just get into a comfortable position when you're actually squatting. Okay, guys, so from here, we're going to take a look at what the squat should look like at the parallel position. So you can see right here from the patella all the way over here to the hip bone, we do have a parallel marker here. And then in addition, so we look at the back alignment and is also parallel with the ankle alignment here. The knees are not over the toes too far. The middle of the kneecap is actually directly to, through the front part of the shoe. And I've got a good ankle alignment here. A lot of times what happens because if we don't have very good flexibility in the lower half of our calf or even the upper part, that angle, instead of being at this angle, ends up being more up and down or probably more in this part. And then the only way to compensate to get low enough is instead of the back being here, the back ends up being more at this kind of an angle. And if you've ever done a squat that way, the reason that this angle would obviously be bad is that once you start to go up, there's going to be a lot of pressure that's put on the low back in order to lift. So anytime that we don't have the flexibility to perform any kind of exercise, our body is going to recruit other muscles to help this. So if my body is leaned too far forward, I'm going to start using the lumbar low back area and that's going to potentially create an injury down the road. Okay, so what do we do about this if our calf muscle is too tight? So here's an image of the back of your leg, um, really what's going on. So your gastrocnemius is this fattier portion under here and then your soleus rests underneath your Achilles tendon. Um, and so there's a correct way that we need to stretch both of these and I'll show you that here in the next photo. All right, so in picture A here, um, there's a person actually stretching their calf muscle, the, the upper portion of the gastrocnemius, their knee is locked out, and they've got something here that's on an ankle, angle. You can also change the angle of your leg by leaning against the wall, moving the foot further back. But this is a great way you can use the side of the rack when you're in class. You can also use a dumbbell to create this angle. So this is the upper portion, or the gastrocnemius, where it's up here. And then the way to get down lower, the portion here, is to actually create an angle in your knee. So just a slight bend, and that's how you'll actually create that angle and potentially loosen that up over time. All right, so in addition to stretching your calves, you can roll your calves. This gentleman's up off the ground, got his feet crossed, and he's taking his time. So you start down here at the Achilles tendon behind your ankle, and then very slowly roll up. And anytime you find a sore spot, just sit on that, probably for a count of 10, and then continue rolling all the way up until you reach the end of that calf muscle. Before we finish here, I do want to show you one more thing that can be a potential problem cause when you're squatting and there's a way to actually um, over time correct this. And this is called knee valgus. So you'll see the knees actually cave in uh, when someone squats down. And a lot of times we will focus on this, but usually the problem is occurring up in the hips or a lot of times down here in the ankle. If you'll notice my foot, it's no longer sitting flat on the ground. Um, yeah, or it's, it's actually flattened completely. See, the arch is gone. The outside of my foot is up. Th this is being caused um, usually well, for a couple of reasons. One, it could be that my quads are really, really weak. Um, but a lot of times it's also because on the outside of your leg is, is a muscle called your peroneal. And that is so tight. What's happening is it's pulling that down and in. A lot of athletes suffer from this. And so I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can kind of combat this over time. So if you actually pull your foot upward while you're sitting there, you can actually feel that muscle engage on the outside. So I'm going to show you a way that we can kind of help correct that. All right, I'm going to show you guys a couple of different things that you can do to roll this out. So the first one is, um, in this video, the gentleman's actually, um, he's isolated the trigger point on his peroneal, the outside of his leg. 
and he's going to kind of rotate his ankle around uh, to kind of really get in there and kind of help loosen that up. All right, the next thing he, we're going to do here is you can take any kind of ball or object, tennis ball, uh, PVC pipe, to really kind of sit on this and move around. You, you'll be able to see in this video how he's doing that, kind of doing that, and he's doing again the same thing. He's rotating his ankle around, really kind of finding in areas where that becomes really tight. All right, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to stretch this. So um, you're going to actually see in this video we're going to point our toes away. And then what he's going to do is then reach underneath and actually pull his foot to where the arch is facing the ceiling, and you'll really feel that stretch in that peroneal. So again, this is really only for people who have that um, issue where their feet are caving in, um, and that can really potentially help. And the reason we have to fix that, we need to, is over time it's going to potentially create an issue for a knee injury, an ankle, or even a hip as your body is that kinetic chain stuff goes up and down your body in terms of injuries. And so that is something you absolutely need to pay attention to. If you're spotting uh, your partner and you notice they do that, tell them about it. Um, if you want to ask one of us, we can videotape you to show you what that looks like from the front. So hopefully that's helpful and you can find ways to correct that.